Hello friends, myself Amar. Now in this video, I will discuss how to create functional component in React JS. Now, if you are following my tutorial, then you know that I, that uh, I have created a project named as React JS Tutorial, right? And you also know that to create the component, we need to create JavaScript files, okay? Now here, what I have done inside the SRC folder. I have created another folder named as custom components and to do that what I have done simply right click here and after that click on new folder and then after that here you need to specify the folder name. In my case I have given the folder name as custom underscore components right. Now inside this custom components what I have done I have created a file named as welcome.js and to do so what I have done simply right click here new file. And after that I have given the file name as welcome.js okay and this is the content of the welcome.js right and this is our app.js now from the app.js I have removed all the code except this div tag right now I will come to this later on let me discuss welcome.js file first now here what I have done here I have created a functional component as I told you earlier also that functional components or to create the functional components we need to create the java uh, script functions and this java script functions may optionally tick parameters right now to create the functional component first of all what we need to do we need to import the react from the react library and to do so here i have written import react from react okay this will import the react from the react library right after that here i have created a function named as welcome because my file name is welcome right and to create the function here i have written function welcome inside the curly braces i have used the return keyword and after that i have used a parenthesis here as you can see here now this parenthesis is optional if you are returning a single statement from the return okay this this means you may or you may not use this parenthesis right now inside this parenthesis what i have done i have used the h1 tag and inside this h1 tag i have written this is my first functional component now here you can see here i am using the html tags like xml that's why this is called as jsx javascript xml right now after that to use this functional component inside some other component you need to export this and to export i have used here export default welcome remember this is not the feature of react this is the feature of es6 okay export default welcome this means i have exported this function right with the name welcome right and to use this functional component inside this app.js what i need to do i need to use this welcome inside this app.js and to do that what i have done i have imported import welcome from from, from where i need to import this welcome from this custom component folder which i have created that's why here i have written from custom component and from this custom component which file i need to use welcome file right and after i imported this line now i i can use this uh, welcome component inside this app.js and to do so here i have written welcome and since this is a empty functional component this is an empty tag that's why here i have used slash right because this tag does not have any children right now once you write this after that i have started the server by using npm start command this i have already discussed in my previous video now once you write npm start command it will start the server and it will display the content of the welcome component and the content of the welcome component is nothing but this is my first functional component that's why in the browser you can see this message right this is how we can create a functional component right now in functional component i will discuss many more things just watch now after that here what i have done this this let me comment this let me comment this and to comment go to edit toggle block comment right now here if you want to return multiple statement from functional component then what we need to do let me remove this 
this okay now if you want to return multiple statement now here if you can see here i have written only one statement now if you want to return multiple statement from a functional component then what we need to do return after that we need to use parenthesis because we are returning multiple statement if it is a single statement then this parenthesis is optional but if you want to return multiple statement then this parenthesis is mandatory now inside this parenthesis what i have used here i have used a div tag inside this div tag here i have written h1 this is first statement and again h1 this is second statement now if you want to return multiple statement then these multiple statements must be grouped inside another tag which is div tag here okay now let me save this now once you save this then you can see in the browser the corresponding changes is reflected this is first statement this is second statement this is the hot reload functionality of react okay now this is how we can return multiple statement from a functional component now let me comment this also because i will discuss many more things edit toggle block comment right now let me just uncomment this now here to create the functional component we have used arrow functions right and this arrow functions is the concise notation of the functions which we have created here okay and uh, it is my advice to use this uh, arrow functions later on to create any functional component right and to create that what i have done here i have written const welcome after that arrow function inside h1 i have written this is my first functional component and after that i have exported this and i am using this inside the app.js okay let me save this once you save this then you can see this is my first functional component the same message which i have printed here okay now here if you can see here i have written welcome okay now i am exporting this like export default welcome now here in the app.js it is not mandatory that here we need to import it with the name welcome i can import it with any name right suppose i am importing it with the name capital m right now since i am importing it with the name capital m here also we need to write capital m let me show you let me change it to capital m let me save this and let me show you the output see we are getting the same output this means it is not mandatory that if you are exporting it with the name welcome then we must use it with the name welcome i can write or i can use any name here as per your requirement right now let me change it to welcome once again right save save and this is the output right now let me comment it now here as you can see again i have used the arrow functions here i have used the arrow function and here i am showing you how to return multiple statement from a functional component by using arrow functions the same syntax i have written const welcome after that arrow function after that we need to use curly braces now here if you see for a single statement here i have not used curly braces right and i have not used any return statement here but if you want to return multiple statement then here you must use const welcome curly braces after that return after that parenthesis inside this div tag i have used h1 h1 this is the first statement this is second statement as i told you that if you if you want to return multiple statement then these tags must be grouped inside another tag which is div in my case right and after that export default welcome i also discussed that if you are exporting it with the name welcome then it is not mandatory that you must used welcome here you can use any name as per your requirement okay now let me save this now in the browser you can see the corresponding change this is first statement this is second statement okay now let me comment this edit toggle block comment now here 
I will show you another type of export which is called as the named export right let me remove it from this now here if you see here I have created a function welcome and inside the return I have written this is my first functional component but here I am not writing export default and after that the name here while creating the function here I have written export now this type of export is called as the named export and in case of named export it must be used with the same name which we have specified here this means it must be exported with the name elcom you cannot use any name here and while exporting and while importing it it must be imported as a constant and to do so here we need to use curly braces right this means if it is a named export then it must be used with the same name where I am using and it must be imported as a constant and to do so it must be enclosed inside single quotes okay let me save this let me save this and let me show you the output see this is my first functional component okay now let me comment it and one more example is here how to use this export if you are using arrow function export const welcome this is the named export and after that here I have written this is my first functional component again since this is a named export this means it must be imported with the name which I have specified here that is welcome okay and here we are using this welcome as a constant by by enclosing it inside single uh, curly braces right now let me save this and you can see we are getting the same output okay this is how we can create functional component in react js and these are the different cases which i have discussed okay just you have a look just see the code once again this is the first case this is the second case This is the third case where I have created by using the arrow function. This is the fourth case. This is the fifth case where I have used a named export. And this is the sixth case where I have used the name export by using the arrow function. And this is the app.js where I am using the components. Right? Okay. I hope you have liked my video. If you liked my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.